Discord. Hey, there she is. So um, I saw a post today on social media and it hit home, it hit hard. It said, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a 700 or an 800 credit score, an 850 credit score. If you don't know how to use that number as a weapon uh, to towards the growth of your business, if you don't know how to capitalize that number for the betterment of your financial growth, then it's irrelevant. It, honestly, it's irrelevant. You could, you could have a loaded gun on your desk, but if you don't know how to take that safety switch off to protect yourself if someone's breaking in, that, that's, it's useless, kind of the same concept. It really genuinely is. And credit is such an important tool for financial growth. It's such an important tool for business growth. And a lot of people just kind of overlook the power that it is. I'll be 100% honest with you. TKO as an FMO, for those of you who, know, who don't know this, to become an FMO, you need to put up a lot of money on reserves. You need to put close to a quarter million dollars up on reserves with a particular, with, any, with an IMO that's willing to give you that contract if you want to be an FMO that receives advanced commissions. Right? If you don't want an insurance agency that receives advances and goes as earned, you don't need that kind of dollar. But if you're going to get advances and you're going to be a brand new FMO, you need to put up a good amount into reserves. Right? I'm going to tell you right now, I had a strong amount of reserves when I opened up TKO, but I didn't have all of that. And so if it wasn't for credit, I wouldn't have had that, that opportunity you know, to, to build this, this agency. Right? Um, you know, I, I, just, I, just took a, I just came from a trip to Costa Rica. Right. I was gone for eight days. Some of you saw the pictures and this and that. Something that I learned right, in Costa Rica. When you rent a car in Costa Rica, OK, um, they want you to put on hold, on credit, not debit. They won't take a debit card. On credit, they want you to put anywhere from 10000 to 30000 on hold to cover the car <laughs> in the event that the car breaks. And the main reason is because Apparently, the insurances in Costa Rica, the car insurances, what it is, it's a reimbursement. It's a reimbursement. Literally, that's how their car insurance works. It's not like over here in the United States where it's like, hey, I pay my deductible. You drop the car off at the auto body shop. They do the repairs, the mechanic, they do the repairs, and the insurance company writes the check. No, it's not like that. They reimburse, which means if the car breaks, you still got to pay for the car, and then the insurance will reimburse you the cost because you got to submit the receipts. That's how their insurance works. And so... <laughs> a little, little tip for you all, if you're going to rent a car in Costa Rica, they're going to put a ten to $30,000 hold on your credit card because they want to make sure if the car breaks, they're going to bill you right then and there. And then the insurance will, will reimburse me afterwards. Imagine, right? I, fly, I flew three hours with my family across the country to another country that I'm unfamiliar with. I got a three hour drive to the villa that we're going to be at. And I'm in a six passenger SUV, four by four, because I'm going 1500 feet above sea level. And so I need a four by four to go up that hill. Imagine if I didn't have the credit. Just think about that. Imagine if I didn't have the credit to be like, here, go ahead, no problem, put it on credit and let, give us this car. The vacation would have been over. Honestly, it would have, it would have, it would have been 100% over, right? Imagine all the clients right now that are taking advantage of e-commerce. Right. And they're leveraging They're saying, listen, here's my 15. Here's my twenty two thousand dollars, my thirty thousand, whatever store they're getting created. Build my store. Now the store's built. It's up and running. It's making 10 to 20 percent per month. But you don't have a line of credit to buy inventory. Imagine. I mean, that's the power that credit has. I mean, <laughs> I'll, tell, I'll tell you a side a side topic, something I'm thinking about doing right now. Crypto's going crazy. Crypto's going berserk right now. Right. If you guys are not learning about crypto and participating in that world, you're, you're missing out. You know, I'm 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 in a position right now where I'm about to take ten, fifteen thousand dollars worth of credit and I'm going to dump it into so, so, into crypto because of what's happening this last week, two weeks. I mean, what's happened in the last two weeks has been crazy in the crypto space. It is like it is like Black Friday for crypto world. Everything is on freaking discount. I'm literally about to drop ten, fifteen thousand on credit just to get into some crypto because. Some of these coins that at one point were selling for three dollars, three and a quarter, they're down to a dollar fifty right now. There's one in particular that I got my eye on. You guys want a tip right now? I'll give you a tip. XRP. XRP is the only coin right now that is being invested into by the U.S. banks. There's a huge lawsuit going on right now with the SEC that has to do with this. And this lawsuit's going our way. Once this lawsuit clears up and, uh, and, and literally the floodgates are open, you're going to see XRP, my prediction, my prediction, just my, I'm, 
Now, I'm not giving any financial advice here, so don't hold me to it. This is my personal prediction is that XRP is going to be in the in the 12 to $20 per, uh, per, per, per shares uh, bracket the moment this lawsuit f- finalized. And that's about, that's about six months away. Guess what that coin's selling for right now? That coin is selling for 86 cents. 86 cents right now. 86 cents. 86 cents. Imagine it gets to, I mean, imagine it gets to 12 bucks. Bam. I mean, if you have credit right now, go buy you some. Go buy you some. I, I got I I got somewhere around 30,000 coins right now in that capacity. I'm just waiting for it to just completely take off. But credit is what allows it. So let me let me get into this. I apologize. I'm gonna do a share screen right now. So Natalia, if you can give me co-hosting privileges, I'm gonna show you where to find the credit repair presentation. And I'm going to actually do the presentation and then I'm going to talk about a holiday special, a holiday special that you might want to take advantage of and a holiday special that you can solicit to your prospects. And this holiday special is going to offer a discount for people who sign up, but it's also going to offer a higher commission for anybody that refers a client over to us. So Natalia, are you able to make me a co- There we go. She made me a host. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. So for those of you that are are with TKO, this is our back office website. Give me a nod if you all can see it, right? Nod, nod your heads if you can see it. Yes, you can. Yes, yes. Gina, you can see it, right? I think so, right? Yeah, nods. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so when you're logged into the website, you go right here to the drop down. You go to Credit Repair Builders. That's the company that we've partnered with, Credit Repair Builders. Click that bad boy. You're going to see. A couple of different buttons. Let me tell you what they are. One, credit repair builders. This is our this is the company website, just creditrepairbuilders.com. Okay. A lead, right? If you have a lead or referral, you want somebody at credit repair builders to call and schedule a meeting with. This is where you upload the leads. Okay. This is the enrollment form. If you yourself want to get yourself enrolled in the credit repair program or you know someone who's maybe participated in, in one of the presentations and they're ready to go, this is the enrollment form. Right. And then this is the training registration. So every week we host this class. Usually it's on Wednesdays. We're doing it. We're trying something new and doing it on Thursdays now. But the expectation is if you're going to participate in this training, you've got to register. You got to click that button right there and register and let us know you're attending. Let me tell you why it's crucial that you do that. Sometimes if we have enough people that attended based on that registration, We're going to offer free leads, free life insurance leads to anybody that submits referrals. Anybody that submits credit repair referrals, we're going to offer you free life insurance leads. And we base it based on how many people registered for the class. I don't think anybody registered for today's class, but I might give you an opportunity to do it. Anyhow, that's where you go for all the the resources you need for credit repair, okay? Um, Now... To find the presentation, you go right here to Documents and Resources. You click Documents and Resources. Boom. It takes you to a Microsoft OneDrive folder. We're going to go right here to Presentations. You're going to see the TKO flip chart, sales flip chart. You click it. Open it up. There it is. Ready? And don't lie to me. Come on now. There it is. So here's what's cool about it while it's uploading. This is our sales flip chart. I use this flip chart constantly. I use this dry erase board as well a lot of the times, but I use this one as well too. Um, let me go this route. This might be easy. There we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this. Uh, if you go all the way to the bottom of the flip chart, you see the flip chart talks about life insurance, retirement planning, you know, three ways money grows. You know, it explains IULs. It explains tax strategies. It explains how a 401k works. I mean, this is a full flip chart for your use. And then boom, at the very end, I believe it's the last two pages. Yes, it is. You got credit repair builders, right? So let me go through this presentation so you guys understand it. Here's the other good thing. You don't have to actually learn how to do this presentation. I've become really good at leveraging my business partners. Anytime I get someone that's interested in credit repair, I just send them over to Natalia and she does the presentation. She does everything. I just send it over away. You know, what I have learned though is how to talk 
the prospect game of credit repair. So I'm always posting on social media. I'm taking a lot of the times things that Natalia is posting on her own social media. I'm copying them and posting them on mine. Um, and, and all I'm doing is I'm just finding the interest. It's part of my elevator. It's just so you guys know. So when I'm talking to a client about health insurance, life insurance, or retirement, I always say, hey, some of the other services that we offer are alternative investments with e-commerce and credit reparation and credit enhancement. If any of those things are things that you want to talk about, because if you don't talk about it, no one's going to know you offer it. And if they don't know you offer it, they can't raise their hand and say, hey, I need it. And so you got to be able to know how to find the clients and then refer it over to Alia to do it. But if you're that person that you're like, no, I don't want to refer it. I want to learn it. I want to know how to do it. This is the presentation that you would do it. And this is where we'll find it. So let's get right into it. number one. You're not alone, all right? I know credit is one of those things that especially men, we hold a lot of pride to it, right? And sometimes we're even ashamed of it if it's not where it needs to be. Um, some people, quite frankly, don't care because they don't know. But the biggest thing I want you to understand is you're not alone, okay? 40 million people, um, it actually, that needs to be updated. It was 63 million people ended up unemployed last year because of the pandemic. So think about those 63 million people, they lose their income, they were living paycheck to paycheck. Where are they going to get their income? A lot of them are going to hemorrhage their credit. A lot of them are going to use their credit to pay for the bills today and say, hey, I'm going to use the money now and I'll pay for it later. Hopefully, cross my fingers later, I'm in a better financial position. And if I'm not in a better financial position, some of these card, credit cards, are they're going to go delinquent. They're going to go late. They're going to go into collections. I'm, I got I to gotta feed my family. The electric needs to stay on at the end of the day, right? This is the average debt in America based by age group, just so you know. Under 35, average debt is 67,000. Between 35 to 40, 433. Between 45 to 50, 434. Between 55 to 64, 108. Between 65 to 74, 66,000. And 75 plus typically have an average of $34,500 in debt. So if you have debt, collections, you know, derogatories or anything like that, Figure out what your age is. And I just want you to know your peers have debt as well, too. Right. If you're saying to yourself, hey, what about based on, you know, minority groups and such? Listen, um, credit card debt, 25 percent, 28 percent of the of the white population have credit card debt. 25 percent of the Hispanic population have credit card debt. 24 percent of the black population have credit card and 24 percent of the Asian community have debt. What does this tell you? Across the board, we're all about we're all about the same. We all got debt. Right. Now, what might be some of your goals? It could be, hey, I want to buy a car, right? But I don't want to pay a high interest rate. I just, I just helped a few family members of mine in this last two months shop for cars. And a lot of the negotiating and everything we had to do with regards to getting that payment, right? right? That's the biggest thing when it comes to finding a car, finding the car you want. And then number two, what's my monthly payment going to be, right? A lot of the payment had to do with the interest rates that they were charging. And so buying a car is important, but you got to have really good credit to get a really low interest rate, right? Buying a home, right? Um, you might want to qualify for a home, but you want to get that good interest rate because if you're going to sign on a dot to 300000 plus in debt, you definitely don't want to be at 9, 10, 11, 12% interest. I mean, that's, that's astronomical, right? Um, you might want to qualify for $15,000 worth of credit cards. Like you want to have that disposable discretionary credit with, that you want to use as your emergency account, Right. Um, you might want to have zero down payments when it is when it comes to obtaining cell phones. You know what? Credit matters with regards to that. You might want interest rates in the one to three percent bracket. Do you know that there's auto loans at zero percent interest for people who have good credit? Zero. Zero, not a single bit of interest if you've got good credit. You might want to start a business. Believe it or not, to start a business, you have to invest into that business. And to invest into that business, you need what? Credit. Now, what might be holding you back? Maybe it's the number of inquiries. You've had your credit pulled a bunch of times. Maybe you went to a car dealership. We run into this all the time. Someone goes to a car dealership. They go, I want to see if I qualify. You know what most car dealerships do? They'll do what's called shotgunning your credit. They'll apply with 10, 15, 20 lenders at the same time. And just and they'll let you know the first ones that say yes or the ones that pay them the highest commissions for going to them, which happen to be the higher interest rate ones, which is one of the things we recommend to everybody is don't go to a car lender and have your credit shotgunned. Either get pre-approved first at a bank of your choice or a credit union in particular. Credit unions are great for low interest rates. If you are going to go to the to the lender, to the to the car dealership, make sure they know up front. Don't pull my credit a bunch of times. You're allowed to pull my credit one time with two lenders. That's it. And I'm not going to let you pull my credit until I found the car that I want at the price that I want it for. 
Before that, you're not pulling my credit, right? It could be number of inquiries, could be late payments. You're paying your things late, that affects you, right? Maybe you have high credit balances, right? You got a $5,000 credit card limit and you're using $4,999 of it. That's not good, right? Maybe you have things that are in collections. Maybe there's errors. You know that 65% of people's, people's credit reports, 65% of people, their credit reports have errors. And because they don't go in there and they don't check it and review it, those errors happen to be affecting their credit score. Maybe it's bankruptcies. Maybe it's child support obligations. Maybe it's repossessions. Maybe it's foreclosures. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, if you have those and they're valid, we can't do anything. And there's not a single credit repair company that can't do anything. But if you had those and they got fit, fulfilled, they got discharged, they're done. Have you checked to make sure it removed from your credit? Have you checked to make sure that it it's been removed and completely gone? Because if it's not, this is where credit repair builders comes in, right? So what's the credit repair process? Credit repair builders saves the day. It's a 10-step process. It's very simple. Step one, you got to pull your credit and see where it's at, right? Some people will use a lot of different bureaus, a lot of different services to pull their credit. The most commonly one used is credit karma. You guys heard credit karma before? It's garbage. Don't use them. Credit Karma only uses two out of the three bureaus, which means you're going in partially blind. It only looks at your credit one time a month. It doesn't do a daily monitoring. It does not monitor the black web, which is the black market of selling your data. And it doesn't provide you any insurance protection against identity theft, right? What we use is a service called Identity IQ. It costs a little bit more money. Instead of nine bucks a month, it's 20 $24, $25 a month, but it monitors all three bureaus on a daily basis, okay? It, off, it monitors the black web to see if your information is being sold anywhere in the black market, and it offers you a million dollars worth of identity theft. Phenomenal service, phenomenal. We use that one and only that one, okay? Number two, what we're, what we're gonna do once we pull your credit, we wanna isolate and separate. We want to look at your entire report, and we have software that does this, by the way. So when I say we, Natalia's not sitting there on top of a dining room table, like puzzling pieces together. No, we've got really good software that does all of this. The software, what it does is it looks at everything and it separates it. It says, okay, this is how many derogatories you have. This is how many collections you have. This is how many, you know, trade line inquiries you have. This is how it's, it separates it. Why? Because we got to be able to see it and attack certain things at, at, at very aggressively at the right time. Step three, we begin the process of actual credit repair. Credit reparation. A lot of people, a lot of companies do it. There's a lot of MLMs that do it. This is not an MLM, just so you know. What this is, this is basically saying, hey, we want to take a look at your past and we want to remove as much dead weight as we possibly can. We want to remove as much dead weight as we can. We want to remove inquiries. We want to remove you know, charge offs, we want to remove collections, we want to remove bankruptcies and foreclosures if, they, if they've already been sufficed and settled and they're still there, Ch child support obligation, we, we want to remove some of the, the history. It's kind of like saying you're carrying this dead weight, we want to remove it and make you a little lighter. And by default, by default, when we remove some of these things, people's credit scores start to go up by default, just by removing some of the history. Why can we, why, why do we do this and how do we do this? Step four, there's a law called the Fair Credit Monitoring Act. This law says if a bureau receives a request from a consumer to remove certain things, they have 30 days to investigate. And if they cannot find evidence, they don't get replies from the people that money is owed to, then the credit bureaus have to remove what the consumer is requesting. So what exactly does that mean? It, it's kind of a loophole. It's kind of like, hey, you know, before anybody could add, randomly add things to your credit and it affects you. Now they need to prove within 30 days if a consumer says, hey, I challenge that, that's not mine. Prove to me that it's mine. If they can't prove it, they got to remove it. Well, here are two things that are happening in today's world. Number one, debt is out of control. Hell, if the United States national deficit is out of control, what makes you think the U.S. population? That's out of control. It's out of control. The credit bureaus are overworked right now as it is. And because they're operating on a skeleton team because of the pandemic, because of social distancing, they already have too much work as it is. So they can't keep up with all the requests. Number one. Number two, number two, number two, 
a lot of collection companies sell their debts off from one company to another company to another company to another company. And when they sell it off, a lot of the times the paperwork, the evidence doesn't follow. So if you send a request for a particular collection company to prove that the debt actually exists, it's like a 50-50 that they don't even have the valid paperwork to prove it. And if they can't prove it, it's got to get removed. So that's, that's, that's kind of what happens in that world, right? <laughs> right? Kelly's like, wait, what? Yes, that's exactly what happens, right? So that's step four. We leverage the Fair Credit Monitoring Act. What happens, because what, hap- what ends up going on is we start sending letters aggressively to the bureaus and to the collection companies and to the people who pulled the credit saying, hey, remove this immediately. These are legal letters that have been drafted by attorneys that we've been working with and partnering with. They're very aggressive. There's like five different phases from light conversation to let me get a little bit more serious to the very last phase, which is, hey, I'm coming to your house with a bat and I'm going to do some damage if you don't remove this kind of type of jargon, right? And so with that process, what ends up happening is step five. We remove about 50 to 80% of the dead weight. I'm not going to tell you we're going to remove it all. We remove about 50 to 80% of that dead weight. Is there a chance in the future that something else, you know, that something that was removed comes back? Yeah. If it was removed and then all of a sudden the collection company finds the evidence, they could go back to the lenders and be like, hey, listen, look, I know that I couldn't prove it to you before, but here it is. Put it back. Right. That that is possible. But it's unlikely that that, that it'll happen with 100 percent of the things that got removed. But 50 to 80 percent gets removed. So guess what? Now that dead weight makes you a little bit lighter. Your credit score goes up little by little. Sometimes the first month, second month, third month goes by and you're like, man, it only went up by five points. And then all of a sudden by the fourth month, it's like, vroom, 80 point increase. I, I've seen it. It's crazy, but it's the truth. It's how it works. Step six, once we remove the dead weight, now we got to do what's called credit enhancement. This is something that not a lot of people or a lot of companies do. Very few of them do this. Credit Repair Builders has developed relationships with investment companies investors, individual investors. Okay, have you guys ever heard of a concept called um, creating an authorized user on your credit card? You ever heard of that before? Okay, do you know that there's actual investors that have these huge credit cards, 10,000, 20,000, $30,000 credit cards that are, are like immaculate. You know, they're, they're using maybe $100 of 30,000. They've had these cards for 30 years. I mean, they're beautiful cards. Do you know that they're willing to allow credit repair builders' clients to get added on as an authorized user to their credit cards in exchange for what money? They basically say, hey, listen, we're going to let you hijack our credit. We're going to give you this credit card, this $10,000 card, this $20,000 card. It's got a 10-year history or a five-year history. We're going to charge you for it. And we're going to make sure you're an authorized user of this card for the next 60 to 90 days. What do you think happens in that 60 to 90-day period? The credit, credit scores go what? through the roof. I mean, they jack up because now when they got to evaluate your credit, they see this $10,000 credit card, this $20,000 credit card, this $5,000 credit card. And man, these cards have been open for 10 years now. And these cards never have over a thousand dollars that's owed. Like this person is just super responsible. Let's adjust their credit score to meet that obligation that's already reporting on their credit. That's credit enhancement. Now you might say, well, wait a minute. It's only, it's only 60 days to 90 days. What the heck is the benefit? The benefit is that's your window of opportunity. That 60 to 90 day period is your window of opportunity to move into step four, step seven, I'm sorry, which is apply for your own credit. Go to other credit card companies and say, hey, I want a $10,000 credit card from you. I want a $5,000 credit card from you. I want a $20,000 credit card for you. They're going to pull your credit and they're going to see how responsible you are, quote unquote, right? Responsible you are with that other, those other credit cards that you were added on as an authorized user. But hey, to to them, it's your card. They're going to see how responsible you are. Don't you think that there's a higher likelihood that they'll approve you for you to have your own credit cards? Because that's what happens. So imagine, right, your credit score goes from here to here because of a trade line investor. But that investor is only willing to hold this credit score up for 60 days. In that 60 days, you go and you get your own credit. And then when the trade line investor removes their credit card, what happens to your credit card, your credit score? It stays up there because now you have your own credit that's holding it up. Does that make sense? It's almost like this hand is the investor's hand, right? This here is your credit. The investor's holding it. 
but he's giving you a window to get your own credit so that when he removes his credit, your credit score stays up there. But now you have your own, it's in your name, right? That's why you apply for credit during that window when your credit score is up, right? That moves you into phase eight, which is funding. Wow, now you got this credit. You got these credit cards, they're yours, they're there, they're ready to go, right? We work when we've partnered with some companies that we know will give you approvals on these credits. We work with companies that we know will give you approvals on these credits so you don't have to feel like the Wild West just randomly applying everywhere because that's not good either. You apply to a bunch of places, now you got a bunch of inquiries. So by, by going to the companies that we know will approve you, we know that you're going to have it. You're going to get that ten to $15,000 of new available credit. Step nine, we're going to remove all those inquiries that you made to kind of clean it back up again. And then what? Step 10, you reached your goal. You now have all the dead weight removed. You now have these new credit, shiny bright credit cards in your name. You now have been educated on how to use these credit cards. By the way, credit cards, you should never use more than 25% of the balance. And if it's due on the 10th of the month, right? You should pay it on the fifth of the month. Okay. And once the 10th of the month passes, you should wait another five to 10 days before you use it up again. Just some tips. You might say, well, why? That's what we teach our clients. That's what we teach credit repair builder clients. Um, how to, how to use it the right way. Some people make a big mistake. They say, man, the credit cards do on the 10th, on the 9th, I'm going to pay it down. I'm going to pay that balance down. So that the payment is made by the 10th. And then on the 11th, I'm going to jack it back up again. No, that doesn't help you. Doesn't help you. So a couple of tips, don't use more than 25% of the balance, right? So if it's a, if it's a $10,000 card, don't use more than 2,500, right? Try to pay that card down five days before it's due and try to keep that balance down for at least 10 more days after the payment was due so that it has a chance to cycle and report to the bureaus at a very low amount. And then if you need to use it afterwards, go ahead and use it afterwards. But guess what you need for my entrepreneurs, right? Raise your hands if you're on camera, if you'd love to have business credit. Business credit, business credit, visit, right? Okay. A couple of differences between business credit and personal credit. You know how personal credit, I tell you, you can only use 25% because if you use more than 25% of your balance, it actually negatively affects your credit score. With business credit, you can use 100% of your credit and it doesn't affect your credit score. So if, if business gives you a $10,000 card, you could use $10,000 and it does not affect your credit score. On the contrary, it helps. If you get a personal credit card for $10,000 and you use $10,000, it affects your credit. Kind of crazy, but business credit lets you use it. Business credit gives you the opportunity to get large credit card balances. You're going to get easier approved for $50,000, $60,000 worth of credit cards. If it's a business credit card versus 50, 60,000 personal. Why? I don't know why, it's just the way they operate. But guess what? In order to build business credit, you need to have decent personal credit first. Because when you apply for those initial business credit cards, they're gonna ask you for, they're gonna ask what's called a guarantor. Meaning is there someone personally willing to guarantee this debt if the business doesn't pay it? So your personal credit needs to be fixed before you can build business credit. But you wanna know a phenomenal financial technique? Donald Trump has declared bankruptcy over six times, not on his personal, on his business, on his business. Yeah, you can wipe out businesses. Why? Because a business gets its own tax ID number. So if you're building everything on this business and this business fails or this business gets sued or something happens, you can shut down the business and reset all over again and it doesn't affect your personal. But in order to jump into the world of business credit, you first need to fix your personal credit. You got to get that fixed first. For my insurance agents, there are certain companies that if your credit is not where it needs to be, let me, let me, let me, let me turn it there. There's certain companies where if your credit is not where it needs to be, they won't approve you. North American, one of the best companies that we sell, if your credit has a couple of dings, they won't, they won't approve you to write that company. If they don't approve, approve you to write that company, I want you to know something. Your downlines, if they contract, they're going to write that company. You're not going to overwrite it. You're not going to make the money, number one. Number two, some companies won't advance you the whole year's worth of commissions or nine months worth of commissions. They won't advance you if your credit is affected. They won't. 
companies like SBLI, companies like North American, companies like um, Oxford, companies like NLG, the, all these companies, these big companies we write, they will not advance you your commissions if your credit is affected. They might say, hey, listen, we're only willing to pay you as earned. So that $1,000 commission that you're expecting to get up front, we're going to pay you 88 bucks a month until you, we've given you the, the $1,000. Isn't it a different feeling to get 88 bucks a month until you've collected 1,000 versus collecting 1,000 bucks up front? It's a very different feeling. Credit has to do with it. Credit has 100% to do with it. So what are the costs, right? Well, actually, you know what? Before I, add, before I address costs, are there any questions about anything that thus far that I've trained on? Any at all? I do. On step seven, Yes, ma um, what is the number that your personal credit has to be to acquire or to borrow from the investor? So working with the investors isn't a credit number because they know if you're working with them, your credit score is not high. They know that. But they do want to see that you made a valid effort to remove derogatories before, before you, you work with them. So, what so what I mean by that is this. You have to do the first phase, which is credit repair, before you do credit enhancement. They, remember, these are investors. They know that if you're contacting them because you want to borrow their credit, it's because your credit is not where, where, where you want it to be. You're probably somewhere in the, in the 600s, right? Whether it's low or high, you're somewhere in the 600s. But what they do want to see is that you've already been working on credit repair, removing things and sending letters out before you apply with them. They don't want you to just go right to them. What if you don't have any of the bad stuff and you just have high utilization on your personal credit? Yeah, so if you don't have that, you, you, you would still need to do at least one month, one phase of credit repair, because what happens is when we reach out to them, we need to attest that you've done phase one before we go to step two. We have to attest to that, whether it's one month that you did it or whether it's four months or six months, we just got to attest that you did it. We have pulled your credit. We've done an analysis. We've seen your report. You know, this is what we tried to fix or there's nothing that needs to be fixed. Now jump to it. That's, that's what they want to see. Does that make sense? Good question, by the way. Any other questions? Okay, three phases. Credit repair, credit enhancement. Phase three, funding. Funding, funding, okay? That's when we get you the new ones. All right, so let's talk about pricing. There's some companies out there that they'll charge 300 bucks, 350, and then a very, like 100, 150 bucks every single month after that. So the first month is like 300, 350, and then the second months after that are like 200, 150, somewhere around there, right? Those are companies like FES. You ever heard that company before? Freedom Equity Services. They're, they're a pretty large multi-level marketing conglomerate of credit reparation. Not bad, but they only do for phase one. They don't do phase two or phase three. They just do phase one. And the, the second problem with them is that they're not going to mail the letters out for you. They're going to email you the PDFs. And then you're required to print them, mail them, and stamp them. And so the cost starts to increase for you on that regard, right? That's, that, that, that's what you'll find. The other type of companies you'll find are companies that'll charge you a big bulky number up front for the whole year. They'll be like, hey, you want us to do this for you? Let me pull your credit. Let me see what you got. I'll do it for three grand, right? But they want the three grand up front and then they're working your case for an entire year. And let's face it, some people don't got three grand up front. They just, you know, they don't, right? So I'm going to tell you what we normally charge, what credit repair builders normally charges, and then I'm going to tell you what is the holiday special. Normally, normally, it's $225 first month, first month, and then $150 every month after that, $150 every month after that. There are late fees, right, you know, like, like any other business right if you're late on your payment they'll charge you a 20 dollars late fee right but at that pricing just so you know credit repair builders takes care of mailing out the letters for you not bad right you're good okay let's talk about holiday special from now until december 31st midnight right when we when we when when the bell when the ball drops happy new year okay it is 175 for the first month enrollment. So instead of 225, you're paying 175. So you save 50 bucks on that enrollment. And then every month after that is still 150. So that, that price is not going to change. 
there really isn't that much flexibility, much room to drop that price, to be honest with you. I don't ever foresee that changing. I foresee it probably going up, to be honest with you, because there's not much of a profit margin um, you know, on that number. But we partner with credit repair builders, not really because of the profit profitability of it, but more to be able to help that client and retain that client and cross sell other ancillary products to that client. So the holiday special from now until December 31st is, is that it's 175 to enroll instead of 225. Okay. You do have to have an identity IQ um, account, right? They charge 25 bucks a month. So if you want to join it together, you're essentially paying 200 bucks the first month and then 175 every month thereafter. Okay. Now let's talk about referral income for my agents. Okay. If you refer a client over, Natalia meets with them, they sign up, usually you get a $50 referral commission up front. 50 bucks, boom. Okay. If, however, you refer a client over this month, you're going to get 75 bucks. So you get an extra $25 commission for referring it over. So not only is this holiday special beneficial for the person that's signing up, you're getting a lower price, it's beneficial for the agents to find clients because we're going to give you an extra $25 commission. I mean, look, you refer five people over, right? And I'm really bad with math. Some, some people are like, Tony, how the hell are you running that thing? I'm, really, I, I, I'm glad my calculators don't run out of batteries. That's all. <laughs> you refer five clients over, you just made $375 in commissions. non charge back of it. Pretty cool. Right? That, that could be, you know, some holiday shopping. Right? Now, can those numbers go up? Right? I'm going to talk now outside of the holiday special. We're just talking year round. Right? If you get five clients referred within one calendar month, moving forward, you'll be paid $75 in referral income for every client that you refer over because you did five in one month. So you do five in one month. That means from that point forward, you're going to get 75 bucks a month in referral income every time you refer a client over plus $25 in residual income from all of the prior clients that you've signed up. So now you start to build a little bit of passive residual income. But to get that $75 per enrollment and $25 a month of residual, you got to refer five clients in one calendar month to credit repair where they sign up and everything, not just refer it. Talking about that you refer them and they sign up. Okay. If you get 15 clients to sign up in one calendar month, from that point forward and for the rest of your life with us, you're going to get $100 in referral income every time you refer a client over. That's pretty good. Plus 50 bucks a month in residual passive income for all the clients that are signed up using the service. Most people, when they sign up for the service, are signed up for nine to 12 months to 16 months. So let's just say you do 15 people in one month. Boom. Right? And then, the, and then, and then you, you know, from that point forward, you're now obtaining a hundred bucks in income every time you refer a client over, right? If you've got 30 clients in the books that you've referred over and you're making 50 bucks a month per client, right? 30 bucks times 50 bucks. That's $1,500 a month of residual income that you're generating just because they stayed in the books for at least nine to 12 months. Not to mention the fact that you made $100 for every one of those clients that you referred over. So that was another three grand you made in commissions. So, I mean, it could add up. It could turn into some, some nice numbers. But again, for this month, December 31st, I'm sorry, from now to December 31st, $75 commissions, $75 commissions for everybody you refer over, okay? And 175 enrollment fee instead of your 225 enrollment fee. Any questions about that kind of commission, comp structure, anything like that? Is there a special- In Any problem? estate or like, is there any particular uh, thing on the state or uh, like- Nope. You no, know, like it's just whoever, whatever state. Credit repair no. builders, there, there's certain states, there's certain states like uh, California, Texas, not Texas, California, New York, they require bonding and stuff like that. We have all that already in place. Credit Repair Builders has all of that already in place. You just got to refer it over and go. This, this pricing, so you know, it applies to anybody. Okay, that, 175, so that 175 is not just agents. So 
if, if you know, like mm -hmm. if I'm you guys right now, I'll get to you right now, Lucia. If I'm you guys right now, I'm going to put together a list of people that are real estate agents, title broker, title companies, mortgage brokers, car salesmen, because you know what all of those people have? They have a huge list of people that have credit issues that haven't been able to qualify to buy the products that they sell. How many realtors have a list of people with bad credit that can't buy houses that have reached out to the realtor and said, I want to buy a house, but they can't because of credit or a car salesmen who have a list of people who want to buy a car, but can't because of credit. I'd be reaching out to those guys and saying, Hey, listen, you know, I want to help this list of people you have qualify for that house you want to sell them or qualify for that car you want to sell them. Send me their name and number. I want to help them with their credit. And if you want to throw a little bit of, you know, sharing that commission, sharing that referral, throw a little bone over there with. Believe it or not, if you help a client with their credit and you work with them on a monthly basis, you're going to get their life insurance business, their tax business, their retirement business as well, too, because you became the person that solved and helped them through something that, quite frankly, had been stressing them for a while now. That credit issue had been weighing on them for a while now, and you became that solution, right? Something that Natalia is going to be doing is every time you refer a client over, when that 30-day period is up, she's going to give you a progress report on what's going on with that client so that if there's good news, right, your score went up 30 points or 10 points or 20 points or 100 points, whatever it is, you could be a part of that good news announcement. If you're a part of that good news announcement, that's a great opportunity to ask for referrals. It's a great opportunity to talk to them about insurance. It's a great opportunity to talk to them about retirement because they're in a good spirit. Like, man, you just helped my credit go up, man. Hell yeah, I'm going to give you my insurance business. You're helping me over here. I'm going to help you over there. I've made every single credit referral an insurance client, by the way. Every, I referred, I think, 40 something people over. And every single client has become a, a, an insurance client of mine because I know when to call them. And I call them when I know they have, I have good news to give them. Your credit went up. Let's talk insurance. Smile, hey, right? I mean, it's perfect. It's when you capitalize. Lucia, you had a question. Yeah, so anybody, so it doesn't matter if they have an item, resident, citizen, whomever, yeah, everyone, I mean, anybody who has credit. Got credit. Anybody who's got credit, we can help. Okay. Got it, got it. And there was another question. I remember, like I said, that pricing is good for agents. That pricing is good for referrals that you send. It's up until December 31st, December 31st, December 31st. One thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to my payroll department. And because holidays is around the corner, the moment they, they get the moment they get referred in and they enroll within 24 hours, you're going to get your commission within 24 hours. Usually, you would get that commission on like, you know, on, on, a, on, a, on a schedule with our payroll department because holidays are around the corner. I'm going to I'm going to have them, you know, burn the midnight oil. And if the if the client comes in on credit within 24 hours, you're going to get your commission. You can use that commission for holiday shopping. Right. Like, why not? You know what I mean? But 100 percent, I'd be taking advantage of that. I 100 percent be taking advantage of this and, and not only talking to your clients about it, um, I would be leveraging this to talk to realtors title companies, car salesmen, mortgage brokers, you help them with their business, they're going to help you. I promise you they will. They'll give you the mortgage protection insurance. They'll give you the rollovers. Hey, my client just sold their house. They made $50,000 in the, in the sales. You should talk to them about an annuity because you're helping them. You're stretching their back. They'll stretch your back. I built a lot of relationships that way, guys, a lot, just by helping one, one or two of their clients with, with their credit issues. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. Um, am I muted? No, am I good? Okay. Oh, you're not. So you're on the, the, I forgot which phase what is, was uh, the enhancement. What was the last phase though? Reaper enhancement, enhancement and what's the last one? So the, the three phases. Phase one is credit repair. Mm -hmm. Phase two is credit enhancement. Phase three is funding. Oh, funding. funding. Okay. So, funding, funding. so depending on how bad someone's credit is, how is that what, when is determined uh, how many months they will be in the program? Yeah, I mean, everybody's going to be different, right? It's not a black and white thing because, for example, some person might have 10 collection companies. The other person has the same 10 collection companies. However, this person, the collection companies aren't responding to the letters. This person, they are. So if, this, if these collection companies are responding and these collection companies are not, the one that's not responding, their credit score is going to go up a lot faster than the one who is. 
So, you know, there's no cookie cutter, black and white. How long is this going to take me? I don't like to give that. I tell, I, usually if I talk to a client, I tell them, I go, look, first we got to pull your credit. You can tell me up and down where your credit is, but until Identity IQ looks at it and Natalia runs a diagnostic on it, I, I can't tell you anything. I'm, I'm, you know, what you're telling me is irrelevant. They need to run their analysis and do their things, number one. Number two, expect for this to be a process that doesn't happen next month. If you're going to be with us first month and then the next month, if you don't see a 50 point increase, you're out, then you might as well quit right now. Because because some people goes up 20, 30 points the first month. Some people only goes up two points, three points, right? Like it, it, it's not, it's not like that. I can tell the client if you stick through the process and, and you, and you're there for nine to 12 months, you will see an increase. How big of an increase? I don't know, but you will. And in the same token, you got to tell the client, you got to prep the client and say this to them. Don't hurt yourself if they're helping you. Don't, oh, my credit score went up 60 points and then go apply for, apply you know, for a car and get your credit pulled 10 times because that's going to hurt you. So as much as they're helping you, you're hurting it by, by tampering with your credit. So I tell my, you know, I tell the clients that so that they're aware this is a joint effort and it's a patient effort. And, you know, you, you've got to be in it for the long haul. Nothing, nothing that comes quick, you know, is, is, is there, it's, is, is going to last forever, right? It, you got to work for it. And this is that journey of them changing their habits, learning about credit, and, and, and fixing, you know, some people damage their credit for a 10 year period. Like I, I, I need them to understand it took you 10 years to get to, to, to hurt your credit and credit repair builders is going to try to fix it in one year. Mm -hmm. They did, they fixed it in a 10th of the time it took you to damage it. Like be a little patient. You know what I mean? So Makes any sense. questions? No. Okay. Let me, la let me show you this last piece here. Because I did over, I did compensation, but I want you to be able to know that there's a place you can go to see it, right? Go back again to the TKO website, you go to the compensation grid. You go right here, comp grid. And see right here, these little tabs. Go right here to credit repair. Damn, credit repair. All right? Look at the commissions, right? Entry level. You get $50 for an enrollment, $25 for a trade line investment, $25 if the client wants to create a corporation. If you get five in one month, you're going to get $75 per enrollment, 50 bucks a month per trade line, 50 bucks a month for corporation setup. If you get 15 clients in one month, you're going to get $100 a month per enrollment plus 25 per month of person that's of, um, what do you call it? 25 per month in residuals uh, per client, right? Um, and actually this is gonna update because if you remember correctly, I, I, I haven't updated this, so I, I gotta update this. 75 gives you 25 a month in residual and 100 gives you 50 bucks a month in residuals. I, I mentioned that a little bit earlier, this hasn't been updated, so I apologize. Um, trade, the other thing you need to know, trade line investing, when you work with the trade line investors, they have a separate fee. You know, th those trade line investors sometimes charge 500, sometimes they charge 800, just really depends on the credit card that the client is buying, but there is a fee for that, right? The corporation setup, we didn't talk about that that much, but if you got someone or you yourself want to actually create a corporation, right? A full-blown S corp or LLC or whatnot, there's a corporate fee that credit repair builders will charge you to build you your corporation. Um, if you want to turn that corporation into an agency, right? There's an agency setup fee. And that number, this number here varies. So just be patient because that's based on state. Every state has a different fee. So for those of you that are getting paid 1099 to your social, if you want to get paid to a corporation, you know, you got to get a corporation set up, then you got to get an agency set up. If you don't know how to do that, they actually have a back office team that does all of that stuff for you. Make sense? You'd be amazed how many people say, I want to get my credit repair built, my credit repaired because I want to build business. And they're like, all right, well, what's your business? I don't have a business yet. Well, what if they, what if, what if while they're fixing your credit, they can also create your corporation? Oh, that would be great. Build my corporation. There's a fee for setting it up. 250 is not a bad price to set up a corporation, by the way. It's not at all. Any questions? No, 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 no. Uh, Tony, hi. This is Karine. It's the first time I'm here. 
I'm working with Petro and Mer. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. You're working with who? I'm sorry. Maribel and Petro, Petronella. Oh, hey, what's up? Yes. Hi, this is the first time I'm here well, because I was work. I have lost, honestly, I lost the most part of this um, uh, training. Um, okay. I was coming back from the work. So how, is this recorded? I just want to just watch this from the beginning because I, I'm a bit confused now, <laughs> especially yeah. that this is the first time. Yeah, we actually did record it. I have prior recordings, but I, I'm glad that this particular one was recorded because it talks about everything um, versus, you know, a lot of the prior recordings only capture a piece of it. This one cap captured everything. Yeah. So it is recorded. Um, I'll have Natalia send it to me so I can upload it into our, our TKO website and I'll send you, I'll, I'll post that link. Um, actually, um, actually, Natalia, can you jot down her number? Because when I upload it, that video, I'll send it to you, Natalia, and you can send it to her. I will give me, I will give you my email address. Do you want me to do that? Uh, cell phone's probably going to be better sure. because we'll send you sure. just the YouTube link. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, sure. I will just do that right you now. You can Sorry. type it on the chat box. And that's I'm doing you that. Can that. I do this. There it is. Cool. Did you catch that, Natalia? Yes, I did. Awesome. Because cool. this is really, so, I'm so interested in this section, credit card, um, credit repair. Yeah. And uh, I'd love to learn a lot about that. Well, I, I'm glad you want to learn. Let me, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me close it off with this. I'm going to throw another incentive out. Let me see here what we have on leads. Leads, I don't know if it's updated. Leads inventory, where are you? Inventory. Ah, yes, we do. Okay, so, 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 Illinois. Hey, to my Illinoisans, there's 116 aged leads that we have in our inventory right now for the state of Illinois, 372 that we have in North Carolina, right? And the newest ones we have, we have 20 in Lee County, Florida, 15 in Cook County, Illinois, 18 in Dallas County, uh, Texas, okay? Um, I'm going to throw a little bit of an incentive out your way. The okay, so if you go into the TKO website, you go right here to credit repair builders. There is a lead submit credit repair lead for every lead you upload. For every lead you upload, we're going to give you one life insurance lead from any of those counties that we just talked about. It's got to be a legitimate credit repair lead. OK, this can't be a, a cold call. So you got to, you know, kind of chat with them, let them know about credit repair. Right. They say yes. For every credit repair lead you give us. OK, you can. Well, not us. When you give credit repair builders. OK, I personally, I'm going to give you one final expense life insurance lead for you to work. Right now, I will tell you this, though, however. Um, these down here, Lee County, Cook County, Dallas, we just got those in December, just a couple of days ago, okay? Those normally range about $7.50 per lead. Those are, those are probably the best ones of all of them. This one for 116, if you notice, we got it back in September, so it's a little stale, right? This 372, we got it back in October, it's a little stale. These are fresh. If you want access to those, if you want access to those, okay, I need you to provide at least 25 leads, 25 referrals, 25 credit repair referrals, okay, 25 of them using this right here. You give me 25, and I'll make sure that the referrals we give you are coming from this batch, not this batch. And obviously, first come, first serve, so when they're gone, they're gone type scenario, but I'm giving you now an opportunity to make money on a referral for credit repair so Natalia can meet with them, talk to them, do whatever. But I'm also going to provide you some final expense leads that you can leverage to make, you know, life insurance sales. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. Any questions? 
So the, I'm in California. So whatever lead that there, there are different lead in, in the Texas or whatever. So they will be on a Zoom call or FaceTiming, something like that, right? Yep. I mean, listen, 99% of all my meetings are on Zoom. Last month, I did $650,000 worth of annuity rollovers. This month, where I, I, I probably personally closed on close to 50,000 in life insurance sales and, and we've opened up a solid 400,000 in annuity rollovers. Kelly sat in on one of them. It's all virtual. It's all virtual. Now I will tell you this, Karen, if you want, is it, did I say that Karen or Kareen? Did I, Kareen. Yeah. Kareen. Yeah. It okay. doesn't matter. Okay. I'm fine. We have lead generation companies. If you want to purchase leads and you want to you want those to be in California, we have those. You, I mean, we have the lead companies that you could, you know, you know, contact and, and place orders with. Um, but that's obviously completely set aside. That's a different training. Um, you know, this is more on the credit repair side and what we're bringing to the table. With. But we can get you California leads as well, no problem. Cool. Thank you. All right, then. If there's no further questions, I'm going to let you all go. I'm glad you guys allowed me to run this. I hadn't done this training in a long while, right? Natalia does such a great job of, of it. Um, I just, I just felt, you know, let me, let me tap in here for a little bit and offer some incentives. And, and she, she had no problem with that. <laughs> so um, I appreciate you guys have a great blessed day. Go out there, continue to prospect. You know, I'm, I'm going to tell you a lot of my life sales, a lot of my retirement sales stemmed from a different product that I was offering that typically has a higher demand. Health insurance, to, I mean, literally health insurance, uh, Howard Rabinowitz, if you guys look, he's done 112 health insurance sales during this open enrollment period, leveraging leads, the leads that, we, that, that we've captured. And he's cross-sold about 30 of them into the life insurance products. So I think he's done about 112 health insurance sales, but he's created 30, 40,000 or so in premium on the life side because he's cross selling, cross selling, cross selling. Just, just my meeting just before this one with, um, with Veronica, okay? I didn't talk life insurance because she's already taken care of that client on the life side, but the health insurance sale allowed me to sell a hospital indemnity and a dental plan. And those two combined will pay out about 250 bucks in commissions. 250 bucks for one hour's worth of time? Like it's totally worth it. I say it to you because health insurance is always in demand. Guess what else is in demand? Always. People always want it. Credit repair. Credit repair. It's huge. It's enormous. The third piece is taxes, but taxes is more January, February, March. So we have a division for that as well, too. So talk about the things that are in high demand. Help them with that. And then you get to cross sell once they trust you into the other products like life insurance, disability, long term care, you know, retirement plans and you know, the, the meeting Kelly set up for me was originally a health conversation. And we found that, you know, $200,000 could, could potentially be the, 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 uh, the final sale from that client that was originally a health conversation. So trust me, talk about it. If you don't talk about it, if, if you're an entrepreneur and you're not talking about your product, you're a failing entrepreneur. That's the truth. So talk about your product, social media, networking, whatever you need to do, but talk about your product and you'll see by turning over the rocks, some people are gonna say, hey, I want it. And those who don't, it's just more like not now, it's later on. Anyways, have a good one, be blessed, bye-bye guys. Thank you so much, thanks. Bye, thank you. Bye.